good morning today we'll see one microprocessor lab set program it is program number three reverse a given string and check whether it is a palindrome or not so here we'll begin with dot model small here small will reserve one code segment and one data segment and we'll begin with dot data section here we can initialize the required variables so here we will declare one str variable with lyril string so as it is input string there is no need to use dollar symbol so then we will find out a length of a string and store it in ln variable so how to find out the length of a string here we will use dollar minus string name that is here str so this dollar symbol indicates the end of the string and str pointing to the base address of string so here dollar indicates length is 5 then str indicates the base address assume that it is 0 so 5 minus 0 will become 5 that is the actual length of the string then we will declare one more variable called rstr which holds the reverse of a string so here it reserves 20 locations dupe of 0 here 0 means dupe of 0 means it duplicates the 0 value to all the locations that means it initializes all locations with 0 instead of 0 we can put question mark also which is nothing but uninitialized locations okay then we'll declare two messages one message it is a palindrome end with dollar then message two it is not a palindrome end with dollar then we'll begin with code section here we'll initialize first data section that is move ax at data then move ds comma ax that means we'll first move the data section address to ax then ax value move to data segment that is as we don't have direct instruction to move memory to memory we'll have two instructions here that is first we need to move that address data address to ax then ax to data segment okay and here we are using es also why because we have one is source string and one is destination string that means si and di pointer associated with ds and es respectively okay so that's why es also initialized with ax then we'll initialize si and di to respective base addresses of string and r string that is reverse of a string so move si comma offset str will here si is pointing to base address of str similarly move di offset rstr that means di pointing to base address of rstr then we'll add di length minus 1 that means length is 5 minus 1 is 4 so that 4 will be assigned to di why we are doing this is we'll move di pointer to last location of rstr so that's why we'll always add length minus 1 to di next we will initialize cx with length here why we are initializing length uh, to cx means we are using loop instruction here so loop always automatically decrements the cx that's why we need to initialize uh, that much number of times we need to repeat the loop that should be uh, placed in cx register so remember always loop instruction works with only cx register so loop will do always looping number of uh, times that much until cx become zero loop will automatically decrements the cx register so now we'll move al comma si content of si that means i am extracting si content that is str string first letter to al then i am moving that al to di that is di is pointing now where it is last location of the rstr okay then after moving that we need to increment si to next letter similarly we need to decrement di that means increment si means si should move forward direction and di means it has to move in the 
reverse direction that's why we are doing increment si and increment di then loop back that means this part will continue execution until cx become zero so here loop instruction automatically decrement cx value okay then after doing that again we reinitialized si and di to its base addresses okay same instruction move si comma offset str move da comma offset rstr so then we'll again reinitialize cx uh, value with the length okay then cld this is for clear direction flag so why we are doing is as comparison starts si and di should automatically increment so for that we need to clear the direction flag always that means direction flag should be always zero in order to increment automatically si and di okay so next instruction we need to compare the string byte wise so here repe means repeat until equal okay repeat until equal compare string byte wise so this instruction will compare each letter byte wise okay until both are equal so when they are not equal so it automatically j n e down that means down that means load effective address comma dx comma message to that means it will print the string is not palindrome so this remember one thing this compare sb also will automatically decrement the cx register that means repe cmp sb instruction what it will do usually it will compare string byte wise until both are equal or cx become zero okay so now assume that both are equal then now they are reaching the end of the string then comes out then it will print load effective address dx comma message one that means both strings are that means given string is palindrome right so then jump down one so down one we are just printing the message it is not a palindrome then we are terminating the program okay so this is the uh, possible output string is a palindrome as we are declared literally okay so you can change the string and then observe the output that means you will get the string is not a palindrome output okay thank you